Hey, what is up everyone? This is LTP Fair here bringing you a commentary and this time I am doing a little NBA, MLB, well, I almost said NBA, MLB 2K11 and because uh, God, Black Ops and, and Modern Warfare 2 and all these games are getting on my nerves. I have, You know how I've been gone for three weeks and uh, probably don't have any active subs anymore but if for those of you that are active that enjoy my videos, thank you very much. I love you guys. But anyways... Back to the, the topic of discussion. Black Ops has killed me. I, I have been doing so terrible. Can't get any gameplays. And I figured, you know what? I got an HD PVR. Woohoo! Finally got an HD PVR and I'm going to put it to work, baby. So we're gonna see how that how all this all plays out, getting an HD PVR and if that'll advance me. But um anyways to get right into it. First of all I chose my name. My name is Peter. I put Pete in the little nickname there. Um, S for my S for abbreviation for my last name and and uh, the champ you know the champ I'm gonna be a batting champ pretty soon hopefully win some batting titles for the NL because I'm gonna pick a team in the NL and um, you'll see who in a minute but uh, anyways so I'm gonna be a third baseman because I I played I play baseball in real life and third base is my home I I love third base I love shortstop that's why shortstop is my secondary position. I love playing the infield, and that's how it's going to be. Um, typical stuff, you know, the United States, and uh, and the, my birthday is June 18th, and uh, I'm going to make this guy kind of, kind of like young, but maybe in, I think it's in his 20s. I think I'm terrible at math, so please excuse that. Please excuse bad math skills. <laughs> 2012 minus that number <laughs> can't do it too much, but anyways. I am happy to be doing another commentary for you guys. It's been hella long. It's been a hella long time. And I miss you guys. And <laughs> I, I just feel terrible. I feel terrible that, that I couldn't put out videos for everyone on my channel. I, I had a good channel going up to that three weeks. And then it just started falling to crap. Because <laughs> I think everybody left me. I think everybody left me. That's all it is. But hopefully... Hopefully we can get back on the track, and all you guys that are stay with me through through the dark times, the uh, no internet, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys, or no uh, no Xbox Live connection, as I should say, because I was gone and there was no no connection, so <laughs> so I had to struggle and 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 I tried I tried doing this little flash game series uh, about I had um, doing like flash games ahoy, which which is a new series I wanted to do, but. My computer's not good enough for it. I was gonna do a live com on on a whole bunch of flash games from different websites and stuff like that, and and I was gonna I was gonna try it, but I try I tried recording it in Hypercam 3. It did not work, so I gave up on it. And I was like, God, I can't post the video. So then I finally bought a PVR when I got home from uh from my buddy Justin LTB Justin. Uh, I represented him in a, in a few videos early on my channel. And he just he, he had a, he he could have been a good YouTuber, but he just got lazy and, and he didn't he didn't do it anymore. So I was like, all right, man. Um, and he's like, I'll I'll sell you the PVR. I was like, all right, well I I'll buy it off of you. I bought it for seventy five dollars and um yeah it's it's all good. Seventy five dollars and a new and a copy of Fallout New Vegas that I didn't want. So so I guess I got a good deal. It's usually two hundred bucks. Anyways, as you can see, I'm just doing the uh, normal normal. Stat, uh, not normal uh, accessory building. Just trying to shape my guy. Got the head and face going on. Gonna have a lot of this stuff is gonna represent me. The face obviously doesn't represent me, but the uh, the eye color. I had I have brown eyes. I have pretty much black hair, blackish brownish hair, if that's possible. But <laughs> and I I have shorter hair. Well, eh, medium, but their their short hair is is considered my medium hair. Um, and I'm gonna get, I, th I thought I was gonna go with a little bit of the Dustin, Dustin Pedroia look. You'll see in a minute. It's the uh, the one where he has kind of like scruff on the side of his face. Dustin Pedroia, yeah, he's a beast player. But we'll, we'll, I'll talk about players a little bit later. Um, speaking of players, I, I wanted to uh, I wanted to do a little bit kind of reminiscence of uh, the good old Vladimir Guerrero. He played for the Angels for the longest time, and uh, no batting gloves. Just using his bare hands, he's a beast. Um, he's just getting old now, so we'll see what happens to him in the future. But <laughs> um, yeah, so no batting gloves, going old school. And uh, let's see what else I got going for me. Um, the glove, I, I like. 
I, I like a certain kind of gloves. I'm very picky when it comes to gloves because there's not a lot of gloves that are good out there and uh, for cheap. And, and I bought a $120 glove. It was a uh, Rawlings. It was a Rawlings, a black glove with the uh, open back. And and uh, it's, it's form-fitted, so it means you it basically you stick your hand in there and it fits to your hand. That's basically the kind of glove I bought, and that's the glove I, glove I try to represent in this uh, this video. But <laughs> so he's got he's got a nice little glove. He's let's see what I did here. God, Vegas is Sony Vegas is terrible. I I can't. My, well, I should say Sony Vegas is terrible. My computer is terrible. I can barely read the writing until it's rendered. <laughs> but um, I chose a a thick I chose a thick bat. I think I don't know. Some 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 bat I chose, but white ash. I love white ash. I should have chose hickory, honestly, but uh, I didn't think about it. Now for batting stance. Batting stance is extremely important because that'll determine what kind of timing you have to get used to. And there's a lot of great guys, a lot of great guys I could choose from uh, that are that are balanced hitters. But I eventually went with Robinson Cano. I now, now disclaimer here. I am not a Yankees fan. Never will be. I hate the Yankees and and a lot of guys are Yankees fans so I'm sorry but I just do not like the Yankees and uh, that'll be a different discussion altogether when I play them in the uh, if in the interleague if they have that in this game I'm not even sure if they have inner inner confidence but um, if they do I'll, and I play them you know what I'll, I'll talk about them. I'll say hey this is why I don't like them and uh, and I, and I show, so I chose Robinson's Cano because he's got a good contact in uh, in the game which means he's got a good swing for it. He's got a nice balanced swing. His head doesn't move very much when he swings, and it's uh, it's just a great swing. Uh, <laughs> but you get my point. Now for the stats, I was just look, I was just looking at the stats because I don't know all the stat values in each in each uh, position. Because if you choose a position like first baseman, you're going to be a power hitter. Choose a position like straight shortstop, you're going to be con more contact kind of fast hit person. And I was, you know, I was overall happy with it. I was happy with everything I chose, and let's get to it. Now, I, I chose the Atlanta Braves because, one, I live in Georgia. Two, I lived in Atlanta for the longest period of time. And three, I enjoy the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> it's just that simple. The Atlanta Braves have been my favorite team for a long time. It's just kind of stemmed in my family to, to like the Atlanta Braves and I also like the Boston Red Sox, but that's a that's on the different end of the spectrum. I'm not going to worry about that. But um, yeah, I, I love the Braves. I feel like they're they're getting better. Excuse me, they're getting better every year. And uh, as as you might see, I had a YouTube I, I had YouTube on there, and uh, that was for that was for my for my series. I, I tried I tried to start up when I didn't have HD. If you look on my channel, it's still there. It's uh pretty far back, pretty far back in the time. And I tried to start one up, but I felt felt stupid because I didn't have HD. So now that I have HD, I'm going to be like, yeah, this might work. Have a nice old hop hog. You know how it is. But, um, so save the game. Let's get into it. And now, now what's pretty cool about baseball, a baseball game is that it goes right into a clutch moment. Right into the game that, that, that makes or breaks you, basically. It gives you... A head start, or it could just leave you in the dust. That's pretty much how it is. And this, in this game, is pretty much is pretty much a pitcher and a hitter. And uh, as you'll see in the video, as you'll see in, in the, uh, the 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 pre-screen, the guy's gonna go up to bat. He's gonna he's gonna act all tough, act all cool. Then he's gonna miss the ball. And after he misses the ball, he's like, God, man, I should hit that ball. And then he's gonna come up to you and. And you're going to take his place. You're going to try to hit the ball. And I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you. I'm not going to ruin the surprise whether I did, whether I actually hit the ball or not. It's actually a good or bad. I swung back and forth a little bit. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> but you'll notice that it says uh, get a walk-off hit. That's usually – clutch moments can consist of anything from walk-offs to go-ahead hits. And the uh, and if you're, if you're not the um, walk-off team, then you can do any like, – there's the ball right there. Um, if you're not the walk-off team, then uh, you can just do just get knock in the uh, the, the winning the winning run on your side, and then I swung and missed. I'm sorry about that. Bad Brad death perception. But um, if you and wait, here's the bitch. Ah, uh, 
Dang, one and two. This isn't going well. What? I'll see if I can bunt for a hit. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. Do I hit it? Do I hit it? Do I hit it? Ah, yeah. Hit a, hit a nice little single, and that's all I need. Don't need to stretch into a double because as soon as they touch the plate, the game is over. So that's that's a cool clutch moment. It gives me a ton of experience points and, uh, and skill points, as I should say. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you do not hit that, then uh, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna miss out on like a thousand, a thousand something, a uh, thousand one hundred and something uh, skill points, and it's really, it really helps you out because in this game, in these 2K games, I've noticed because I have, to, I have NBA 2K11 and MLB 2K11. It's really hard to consistently level up. You have to play entire seasons to to get to the level you probably want, which everyone wants to be that 99 level, and you have to constantly play this game. If you if you sim, you know how you know how Road to the Show. If you sim, for Road to the Show is the PS3 version of this. Um, if you sim the dates and stuff like that, then then you can get experience points based on what the computer thinks you're worth. But it's still not. It's it's you can't do that in this game, unfortunately. It's one of the few uh, qualms I have about this game. But anyways, I'm gonna upgrade all the batting stats because um, because. And I'll show you at the end of the video what it, why I'm upgrading these batting stance. Um, actually, I'll talk about it now. Well, no. No, hold on. Just give me a second for that. But I'll upgrade the catching and uh, the fielding, the throwing, arm strength. Because uh, playing third base, you have to throw across your body and across the field. It's a pretty long throw, so you have to have a decent arm to hit, or, hit all the uh, outs. Um, speed training. I have this guy talking to me about the clutch rating. I don't really care what the the computer guy says I know more more than him about this game but uh, commit changes now what I was gonna say was the call-up goals call-up goals are the goals that need to you need to you need to complete before you can get to the MLB and I think I haven't really been dedicated enough to get get to the MLB but I'm gonna try to make a series about it uh, this time um, and these are some of the goals if you can read them like get a batting average of this and this or do this and this in the game or something like that but anyways this has been the this has been the MLB 2K11 commentary part 1 and I will